God's word is powerful because it has a purpose in our lives. The psalmist says, Yahweh's word is perfect in every way, how it revives our souls. Yahweh's laws lead us to truth, and His ways change the simple into wise. Yahweh's teachings are right and make us joyful. His precepts are so pure. Yahweh's commands challenge us to keep close to His heart. The revelation light of His word makes my spirit shine radiant. Yahweh's decrees are trustworthy. The fear of Yahweh is pure, enduring forever. The rarest treasures of life are found in His truth. That is why God's word is prized like others prize the finest gold. By listening daily to His word, may His love be more felt in your daily life. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking boats, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. Responsorial Psalm Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord, and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season, and those leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord said, Woe to you, Pharisees! You pay tithes of mint and of rue and of every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. This you should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greeting in marketplaces. Woe to you! You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, 
By saying this, you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe to you, scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry, but you yourselves do not lift one finger to touch them. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen.